Welcome back to What Arty Nibs for General Disturbance. This is the KV-1. It's the Tier 5 Soviet heavy tank and it's located on the south spawn of Erlenberg. And the name of the commander is Fork U2. <laughs> yes, it's another of my replays, I'm afraid. And you can see I'm armed with the 122mm derp gun because KV-1 uh, KV is better with derp. And I think Rita Gamer would agree with that because she likes playing this particular tank with the derp gun too. So, we're waiting for the countdown to complete and we're off to do a bit of derping. Okay, here we go. Oh, the KV-1, is, uh, it was quite an innovative design because uh, uh, up until the uh, Winter War it wasn't seen and the uh, it was thought that the Soviets had mostly outdated designs but the KV-1 was a revelation because no matter how hard the Finnish tried to uh, fight it they couldn't penetrate the KV-1. It was very 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 difficult to kill and so uh, they suffered a lot of losses um, to the KV-1. It was even a surprise to the Germans as well because it was extremely tough. Well, I'm headed round the corner because this is quite a good place to actually get uh, some dirt shots on the enemy on the other side of the river. Uh, we've got a Panzer 38 NA around the corner. Can we see him? No, we can't. Okay. So I'm moving on. Now, at this corner here, you usually get a lot of enemy a congregate. And there are some around the corner. Uh, as an Excelsior and the Sav M43 and a Lee just went around the corner there. Well, we've got some tanks coming up. I fire into the Excelsior, derp him for 119 hit points, pull back to reload. Now, I know the enemy has got a bishop, and that bishop is a short range RT, but it's also very good at firing in time towns. So I'm expecting to get hit by a bishop round because they'll start focusing on me as a heavy tank. I can't see any enemy at the moment, so I'm pulling back. Draw them out, and I can see now the Excelsior's come out from behind. So I'm pulling forward to have a go at him again. Oh, I can see a T-34 as well. And he pulls back before my round can be aimed, and I hit the wall instead. Nope, he's not going to pull out again. He knows full well that I'm waiting for him now. So, round the corner, and I dirt the Excelsior. This time for 119 hit points and an RT round comes in from the Bishop, lands in front on my right side, so he narrowly missed me. And I can see a Valentine just slightly ahead, trying to line him up for a shot. I fire around in, though it hits the, the wall. I bounce around from the Valentine. 50 hit points, that's a two pound a round. Fire another round in, no, he's pulled back. Now we're going to see that Valentine a little later. And yes, I was hit on the tracks from the Bishop. So he is trying to kill me. Definitely trying to get me. But I'm not being very cooperative to him. Okay. Now Bishop will get another chance to kill me slightly later on. And does that Valentine come back? Uh, no. Trying to get a shot on him. Nope. Nothing there. Now, where's the Excelsior? And we can't see the enemy. Right, well, I'm not going to sit on this corner and let the bishop hit me, because he will get me eventually. So I'm going to take matters into my own hands. And there's the Panzer 38 NA. Trike takes a pot shot at me and misses. And I derp him and take him out of the battle for 178 hit points. And finally, the bishop gets the target and he hits my tracks and damages my tracks. So he got a critical hit there. And I'm pulling back. So I'm out of sight of the bishop, and now I'm pulling forward again. And now I'm going to go across the river. If I if Mohammed won't come to the mountain, the mountain will have to come to Mohammed, or the other way around. Now I'm expecting the Excelsior to be the other side, round that corner. There he is. Hello. Bang. 74 hit points. He's lucky he actually turned that way because he missed the shot. I got hit by an enemy tank from the other side. Put him forward to shoot again. And this time I take him out of the battle. Get the kill. 50, 55 hit points. He's out the game. Right, we've got a DW2 that side. And the bishop is trying to hit me. Kehoe's trying to kill the Valentine. Valentine pulls around the corner. 
and I'm going after the Valentine. The Valentine takes out Argijo. I missed the Valentine with that hit. And now I'm chasing him around the building. It's Ring Around the Roses. Pocket full of poses. A tissue, a tissue. We all fall down. No, I'm trying to chase him. It's kiss me, kiss me, baggy, baggy. That's what Jingle said anyway. And I pull around the corner. And there's the DW2. And I auto aim on him. And no, I missed that shot. But I bounce around and get it into the tracks of the DW2. I'm aiming this one for his weak point, and he's out the game. 390 hit points, and I took a round there from the Valentine, who was desperately trying to stop me. I'm chasing after the Valentine again, but no, and that was a round from the 234, and I'm not going to let him shoot me from the behind. He got 172 hit points out of me. I got 219 out of him, and I'm chasing him around the corner. I took a round there from the Valentine in the rear, I'm going to take that T-34, and he's gone. 78 hit points, he's been derped. That's my fourth kill. Right, we've got a T-28E F-30 to help me. I'm going back to the Valentine. Come here, you little runt. I want to kill you. And <laughs> the T-28 Ram kills him, and that's the last kill of the game. Oh, dear. So I don't get my last kill. I don't get a top gun. Uh, but that was a lot of fun. So let's have a look at the end of battle results. And it's a first class tanker for Fork U2 in the KV-1. I also picked up a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. A shell proof for blocking more damage than the hit points of my own vehicle. A duelist for taking down two enemies who did damage to me during the battle. I think that would count as the Excelsior and the um, a T-34. I also picked up a fire for effect for uh, doing more damage than the hit points of my own vehicle. A bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. I got ten. A cool headed for taking at least ten ricochets or non-penetrating hits in a row from enemy players. And yes, I was feeling those rounds. They were definitely hitting. And lastly, I picked up a steel wall. I survived the battle. I received at least eleven hits. And the amount of damage I blocked must be at least a thousand hit points or more. So let's have a look at the win eight. It was four one one seven for that battle. Wow. Well. Let's have a look at the damage. Well, the T-2080 F-30 managed to get more damage than me. 1,438 hit points. Uh, I only managed 1,232. The highest the enemy could get was their P-43. He managed 1,230. Uh, when it came to kills, it was uh, I was the one who got the highest number. I got four in that battle. Um, and the T-28 managed to get three, with that last one being a ram kill, I think, on the Valentine. And their P-43, he only managed three kills. When it came to base XP, it was uh, I, uh, me again. I managed to get 918 base XP. The T-28 managed 817. The T-85, 60. And the highest player on the enemy team was their P-43, who managed 471. So let's have a look at detail. Well, I fired 14 rounds during that battle. I got eight direct hits, eight penetration, one splash. Damage of 1,232 hit points in total. I received 21 hits from the enemy. Six were penetrations, mostly from that Valentine, actually, who was carefully putting those rounds in. 15 were non-penetrations. I also received four hits as a result of splash damage from the bishop, who managed to hit my tracks most of the time. I blocked damage of 905 hit points, but that was still enough to actually get the uh, steel wall. Um, spotted one enemy vehicle, damaged four of the enemy, killed four of the enemy, and caused damage assistance of 181 hit points. On a premium account, I earned 31,340 credits, and after ammunition resupply, and the ammo's really cheap at 122mm ammo, uh, eight cheese shells that is, uh, 27,568 credits were taken away. I got one bond for the steel wall. I also picked up 1,377 XP times two for the first victory. So it took away 2,754 experience points in total. So I think you can see that was a bit of fun, actually. And uh, I was actually trying to work out how I was going to get the Valentine when he could actually run around the buildings faster than I could drive at him. And luckily that T-28 F-30 turned up because uh, um, that... 
effectively forced the Valentine to run away because he knew he was slower than the T28 and therefore he was going to get him sooner or later. But it was a fun ending to a fun battle. And I think you can see that the KV-1 with the Derp gun is a hoot. It's well worth it. It's like a junior brother to the KV-2. Uh, but it's just even more fun, I think, in many ways. So if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.